This is the brand new DJI Action 4. Could it be the best action camera for riders and creators? Let's take a quick overview in this episode of Mototech. With the embargo lifting today, there are a ton of videos going through the specs and capabilities of the Action 4, but for us, what we care about the most is how the features and specs help us as riding creators and how that translates down to you, the end user. And the biggest question we have is, is it better than the GoPro Hero 11 Black? For years, we have been using the GoPro Hero 10 and GoPro has been the de facto action camera when it comes to recording riding footage. But that also means that we have been facing all the problems that have been plaguing GoPros all these years. The yet unfixed overheating issues that GoPro users have been experiencing continues to cause countless pieces of great footage to be forever lost to the abyss. There is a glimmer of hope from the new DJI Action 4. In the media kit, DJI states that the new Action 4 is reliable up to negative 20 degrees Celsius with freeze resistance. This claim of withstanding extreme temperatures gives us some confidence that at least the temperature capabilities of the new Action 4 has been taken into account in the creation of the camera, giving us more confidence as we dive into the box. With a launch price of $399 US dollars, DJI doesn't follow in the footsteps of the less is more unboxing experience that seems to be hyper prevalent in the tech world nowadays. In the box, we get the camera, three batteries in their charging case, no loose batteries here, a selfie stick, an interchangeable action lens cover, a curved sticky mount, a protective cage that also allows for the camera to be mounted in a vertical format, and two quick release mounting adapters. Speaking of mounting, this is a point of innovation from DJI that immediately appeals to magnet boys like Jake and I. Like the Cardo Packtalk Edge and the Peak Design phone mounts, which you can get from our store at 333.com, the DJI Action 4 uses a magnetic quick-release system for mounting the cameras. This is especially useful for quickly changing the placement of the camera. An annoying thing about other mounting methods is that we have to physically screw and unscrew our GoPros from the mounts to change the position of the camera or even just to open it up to change the batteries. Not anymore with DJI. Mounting the Action 4 to the mount is as simple as pressing it into the quick release mount and hearing the click. The strong magnets on both the mount and the camera as well as the click taps ensure a very secure connection. If you doubt the strength of this combination of magnets and click taps, here is a test we did with the Packtalk Edge which uses a similar concept for mounting. The mounting solution could still be better though. Because of the magnets in both the camera and the mount, the camera can only face in one direction, as the polarity of the magnets would repel it when you're trying to turn it around. But with the quick release adapter priced at 11 USD per piece, it isn't too expensive to get a few more, especially since they use the same size screw holes that make them compatible with the countless number of GoPro accessories already out in the world. Back to the camera itself. The DJI Action 4 has both a screen on the rear and on the front of the camera, making it perfect for framing yourself when shooting selfie vlogs. It shoots at a maximum resolution of 4K, which, at first glance, is subpar to the Hero 11's 5.3K. But it has two main features that lets us believe that the Action 4 is actually better. Firstly is the size of the sensor. The Hero 11 Black has an image sensor of 1 over 1.9 inch, which is smaller than the 1 over 1.3 inch sensor in the Action 4. Larger sensor, better image quality, better low light performance, better videos. On top of that, the Action 4 comes out on top again where it actually matters. While the Hero 11 can shoot videos at 5.3K and up to 60fps, the Action 4 shoots up to 4K at 120fps. Being able to capture 4K footage at 120fps on a camera this small is absolutely incredible and way more useful in terms of how an action camera is actually used. To aid in the editing of your footage, the Action 4 is able to shoot in D-Log M with 10-bit color capabilities for all your color correction purposes. The inbuilt stabilizing features, which DJI calls Rock Steady and Horizon Leveling, makes the footage on the Action 4 almost gimbal-like. Combine that with the waterproof capabilities of the Action 4, which DJI states is waterproof down to 18 meters, the DJI Action 4 seems like it will be the perfect camera to add to our arsenal. 
However, we still have to try it in the real world, so hit the subscribe button and bell icon to be notified when we release the real world review of the camera in the next couple of weeks. In the space of action cameras that have been largely dominated by a single brand for years, it is exciting to see established brands like DJI who have proved themselves in the quality of the products and footage created from those products continue to innovate in the space. We look forward to actually testing the camera out in the real world and we hope you are as excited as we are. The DJI Action 4 has been sent to us by DJI and we received no compensation for the production of these videos. We don't even get to keep the camera. But we are thankful for getting this amazing opportunity to have an early look at the DJI Action 4. And that's only possible because of you guys watching. With that, I'm Mark and we'll see you on the road.